Good afternoon, good afternoon. This is the Talk of Chicago, 1690 WVON. I'm Cliff Kelly, and it's midweek, December 30th, Wednesday. We are on iHeartRadio. All you need to do is download the app to your smartphone or tablet and take us with you wherever you are, wherever you're going. You can also go to WVON.com, and when you do that, we always ask that you participate in the Daily Listener Poll and view our current video. You can call us direct, 773-591-1690, 773-591-1690. And, of course, don't forget, you can get social, all right? Don't forget that. And um, speaking of calling in, we are so pleased to have a wonderful gentleman back with us. And uh, he, of course, is Dr. Sheldon T. Caesar. Uh, MD, medical doctor, and he wants you to call him, and you should call him, because a lot of you call him after the show, or you call here anyway, and get uh, some of his great information he's been giving out for the past few weeks, and it's just been great. And uh, first, I want to thank him again for being in the studio. Doctor, how are you? It was fantastic. Good, good, good. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm doing fantastic. Good. I think my affirmations are helping me. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's wonderful. For someone who may not know about affirmations, let's never be presumptuous, right? Yes. So make sure uh, people who may not know. Well, basically with affirmations, you're really trying to program or reprogram yourself to think a certain way, to think positive, feel positive, and believe positive things. It's just a repetition of positive phrases, positive words. You say if you want to succeed in anything, you have to have a positive outlook on, on life in general. You have to be optimistic. So you have to repeat for phrases over and over to yourself, trying to convince yourself, trying to reprogram the conscious and subconscious mind to think and feel and believe a certain way. And you've gotten some great uh, results from people coming in and talking to you. Yes, over the last three weeks have been very interesting. You know, I repeated some affirmations. I would like to repeat some now, too. Please. I have people repeat their affirmations. If they repeat it, you will, will find that any stresses, worries, fears, and anxieties will go away. And the people who have listened to the radio over the last three weeks, they've come to the health food store, KMT Health Food Store, and they said they have benefited from it. So. Which is it's just great because we've gotten a lot of people who've called in. Yeah. And of course, I've talked to people, and uh, it, it, uh, it, we probably need that doctor more than most folks do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because we, yeah, yeah. we got we need all the help we can yeah. get. Yeah, we're bombarded with a lot of negative news, exactly. a lot of negative energy, and we have to combat it. And the only way you can combat anything negative is going to be with something positive. Mm -hmm. It's in the change of outlook mm -hmm. in terms of how mm -hmm. you're thinking. Mm -hmm. So I like to repeat these, uh, you know, some of the phrases. Please do. Mm -hmm. Stress-free. Worry-free. I just want everyone to repeat. Stress-free. Worry-free. Unconditional forgiveness. Unconditional love. Fearless. Confidence and self-esteem. Peace and serenity. Prosperity and success. All is well. And as I mentioned before, when I repeat these words, the conscious mind will hear stress-free. The subconscious mind will hear thousands of other affirmations associated with it and act on it to make an individual stress-free, help people with prosperity, help eliminate their fears and anxieties, and help forgiving, too. Forgiving is extremely important. And, Doctor, when you mention these nine things, Doctor, Cesar, do they go through all nine of them just as you just did? Is that the way to do it, or do you yeah. do one at a time and think about that and then go well, to it? Explain that. So what I do essentially right now is as a treatment. If I have someone say stress-free in my office, mm -hmm. they'll say stress-free, and I'm of the mindset right now is that they don't have to repeat it. They can say it once. It's embedded in the subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind will eliminate the negative thoughts, negative emotions, and negative feelings. Anyone who repeated the phrases just a, just a moment ago, they would be hard-pressed to think of anything negative. It just won't come up. They can think of the worst thing that ever happened to them. They can find themselves completely neutral to it. It just doesn't bother them. It won't bother them now. It won't bother them tomorrow. It should never bother them again. Now, when someone's in your office, as you say, and you say stress-free, they don't even have to repeat it. They don't have. They can repeat it in their mind. In their mind, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or they can repeat it out loud. 
or like I said, I can I, I have the structured water where sometimes I don't even have patients repeat yeah. certain things. Mm -hmm. I just have them drink some of my structured water, which has affirmations embedded in the water, and they drink it, and the subconscious mind picks that up. Explain the structured water. Water in general has um, perfect memory. It has been known that water has perfect memory. We know that water has healing properties mm -hmm. in general. So if you would act, if you would actually talk to water, you can print messages on water, and it's the subconscious mind, which has an infinite ability to almost absorb any information almost rapidly, instantly, it would take that information from the subconscious, from the water, and essentially act on it. So I would just essentially imprint various messages on the water to get rid of stress, get rid of fears. Also, in terms of um, structured water, I structure the water for, to help people eliminate their need to smoke, drink, or, or gamble. I even give patients, I give the customer a money back guarantee on the water. If it doesn't help them, if they're not satisfied in terms of stopping smoking, gambling, drugs, alcohol, I give them the money back. That's amazing. Now, you know, for laymen like myself, Doc, mm -hmm. uh, people hear structured water and they really, is, 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 can you explain that as to what it actually is? Well, it's just basically information imprinted on water. Water is, has a structure in itself, but it also, like I said, it can retain information. So how do you give it the information? Uh, the mind is, mind is, is also has, has infinite possibilities. Mm -hmm. mind, the mind is very powerful. Unfortunately, we don't even, they say we only use 10% of our brain, 10% right. of our consciousness. That's why dolphins are supposed to be more important, more intelligent than yeah, we are. more intelligent. <laughs> right, exactly. So if we can tap into that other 90%, and then we can mm -hmm. do a marvelous things, phenomenal mm -hmm. type things. I can essentially, um, we, can, we can have a communication with plants. We have people talking to plants all the time. Mm -hmm. And they say plants, you can get information from plants. There's various herbalists, the very well-known herbalists in the past, who essentially talked to plants and got information from plants. And for the most part, I can essentially almost, I can just, I can think certain affirmations, repeat certain affirmations, and the water seems to essentially absorb that information. Now, and the other thing you're saying for people who say, well, you know, that sounds good, but I'm not sure. Uh, the other thing you do to help them understand is you're saying if it doesn't work, you get your money back. Yeah, you get your money back. The thing is, it's not one of those things I have, I have said before. It's right. not about a belief. And if people say, well, we have a scientific approach, I have a scientific mind, and that doesn't make any sense. The thing about it is a scientific mind looks at things, explores it, they sample it, they try it. If it works, then it works. If it don't work, then it doesn't work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's not a thing that I want anybody to convince anybody by, you know, using words. You, want, you essentially want them to try it for themselves. And if something is free, they can go to the health food store right now. I have, a, I have water for our stress and for pain. They can get a sample of it. They can take it in a minute. They'll know whether or not it works. If it doesn't work for me, it's ah, this is this is baloney type stuff. It walks out. But the thing is, 95% of the time it does work. So that's, I, that's I can great. stand behind it. That's great. That's yeah. great. And uh, the doctor certainly would love for you to call in and ask questions. Dr. Sheldon Caesar, our number, of course, is 591-1690. We'll take a call in a moment, and uh, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, it, it, the fact that w when you mention these nine points, stress-free, worry-free, if there is something, doctor, that really stands out, for instance, maybe you're having a, a fear of something, and one of the things is fearless, do you go over the whole to all of them, the affirmations, or could no. you, you could just do one? I can just do one. I can just okay. repeat affirmations targeted and fearless. In my okay. book, the most powerful book of affirmations ever written, mm -hmm. I have a chapter on fear. So they would go to okay. the book, and they would read those affirmations over and over again. What we have here, right, is an abbreviated version of some of the affirmations I, I, I essentially do with my patients and clients. I got you. So you, you that, that makes sense. You just... Uh, you don't have to read. You don't have to repeat them all no. at the time. It's whatever. Whatever your situation. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, particularly, uh, you know, you, you said something. If you got unconditional love, uh, which is wonderful, of course. But the other thing, which is obviously important, and I'm glad to see that on there, unconditional forgiveness, because yes. that has a great effect on a lot of people, doesn't it? Negatively. 
Chris had does has a great effect. Unable to forgive. Unable to forgive, holding on to certain things that may happen in the past, negative things. Usually if you hold on to anything negative, if you internalize anything negative, it's going to do something negative within you. So it's the best, to the best, your best interest to let it go. <laughs> to let it go, you don't want it to cause heart pain, to cause to develop ulcers, migraine, headaches, and all other type of illnesses. So you want to forgive not only for yourself, but you want to forgive. The, you want to forgive the, not only for the individual, but forgive, you forgive for yourself too. And that's the important thing. Uh, we're not just talking about not forgiving and being stressed out about it, or upset about it, rather. But it actually causes. Physical problems. It causes physical problems. Yeah. The emotional, the mental, your thoughts will cause physical problems. They have said that every disease is associated with an emotional, an emotional problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you really want to try to get, you know, keep things as positive as possible. Let's take a call for the doctor. We're so pleased to have him here. Uh, Glenda is calling from the north side. Hi, Glenda. Hi. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Glenda Jackson. And I am a patient of Dr. Caesar. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I just wanted to take this opportunity to express that not only is he an amazing doctor, he takes the time to listen to his patients and understand their concerns, but he is also a phenomenal humanitarian in that he does not allow a person's financial circumstances to limit whether he will render or decline treatment. He is truly one of a kind. Well, that's a great testimony, Glenda. I think that's, that's, yes. that's great. Yeah, yes, doctor. I yeah. appreciate that, Ms. Jackson. Yes. Oh, absolutely. It's heartfelt. Yes, Thanks wonderful. Glenda, thank you so much for calling. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you for taking my call. Yeah. Have a great day. And you too now. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's great. Uh, it really is, uh, particularly when she's talking about even if you have a financial difficulty, that's not going to prevent you from helping people. No, it's not. Yeah. To tell you the truth, um, Cliff, I enjoy practicing medicine now, more so now since I've approached it a, a more holistic approach and using herbs than I've ever enjoyed practice medicine. Well, that's great. 591-1690 is a number, and let's take another call for Dr. Caesar. Uh, Marie is calling from the south side. Hi, Marie. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I am excellent. Good. It didn't snow too much, and I can get out of my driveway. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm with you. That's great. Um, I just called in to um, say hi and also to give a little bit of credence to Dr. Caesar. Um, I love Dr. Caesar. I am a science teacher. Oh, and yeah. I love quantum physics, and I'm a mm. radio uh, show. Well, I do a lot of things, a Jane of all trades, but one of my favorite things is the science of water, and Dr. Caesar's water are amazingly structured down to the quantum level. And I train with Dr. Mishiro Emoto, who wrote the series, uh, best-selling series, Messages from Water. And in that training, we learned about water long before even the mainstream scientists caught up about it, that water actually has really literally computer chips from memory in it. And our bodies are made out of water, and so what Dr. Caesar does is he's a master in imprinting on water on such a deep vibrational level that it acts like a homeopathic where just a little bit changes the whole system of is the body. And that's the reason Dr. Caesar says, I love it when he says that, that you don't have to believe in it. It just works. <laughs> and that, they can't beat that. You're absolutely right, Marie. Yes, and uh, if your listeners just go on YouTube and look up the science of water, uh, even Dr. Emoto's work, and um, and listen to what Dr. Caesar's saying, because that is the new medicine, right, Dr. Caesar? Yes, it is. Thanks a lot, Marie. That's You're great. welcome, Dr. Thank Caesar. you for calling. Have a great holiday. Yes. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's wonderful. And uh, that's so educational because a lot of people wouldn't have any idea. They wouldn't. No. Marie knows a lot about water. Well, that's what she says. Science. Yeah, she she's, she's mm -hmm. professional. Yes, yeah, she is. And she knows about it. Yeah, that, that's great. But she just... 
you know, I've done a lot of studying, and, uh, you know, I, I'd like to think I'm not ignorant. <laughs> but I didn't know that about water. Yeah. And then when you think about the fact that so much of your body is water. It's water, yes. So it makes so much sense mm -hmm. that it would have such a great impact. Yes, and it does have a great impact. Yeah. Down take another, to the vibrational level. Mm -hmm. yeah. The cellular level. Right, mm -hmm. cellular level. Let's take another caller for the knock. Uh, Cell's calling from the south side. Cell, how are you? <laughs> Thank you, Cliff. Actually, I'm in Michigan City right now. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, good evening, Doctor. I believe in the power of water also, particularly so when it's mixed with soap and the impact that it'll have on your total being. I think it's, water is certainly good for the inside, but it also has a, an extremely positive influence on the outside when it's used on a regular basis with a soap that's not afraid of dirt. An affirmation that I have been using is by Dr. King, in which he says there's nothing more dangerous in all the world than conscientious ignorance and sincere stupidity. Now, would you consider that an affirmation? My second question is, do you have any affirmations that would encourage us as a people to be cleaner than we are from the inside out? All of my okay, affirmations. Okay, Sal, thank you so much, Sal. That's wonderful. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Sal's uh, great. Okay, I don't know if I could comment on the first one, but the <laughs> second one, yes, we do have affirmations that essentially to target our people in general, mainly trying to be, um, in terms of be clean on the inside and out, is to make things more positive, getting rid of the negative energy, negative thoughts, negative feelings. And then they say, as it's within, so it is without. So if you're thinking negative inside, chances are your outer world is going to be chaotic and negative too. So that's why it's extremely important to, in order for you to shape your world, to shape your lives, mm -hmm. is essentially shape yourself shape within. Yourself. Right. Let's go to uh, Joe from the West Side. Hey, Joe, you're on the Talk of Chicago with Dr. Caesar. How are you? Yes. Yes, Joe, go right ahead. Oh, okay. You want to give me the go right ahead? Go yes. right ahead, Joe, please. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to say that, um, what you know, what kind of affirmation should we use or what should we do as a people with everything that's going on in the news? How can we... Good point. Have, how can we handle our business and, you know, move forward, but at the same time not keep going through the same thing over and over again? You know, with all this stuff with the police brutality and mm -hmm. racism, mm -hmm. how do we, you know, be good, good citizens and, and work as a team, as the black folks, and, you know, still be positive with all the stuff that's happening and in to, the past and current? And to diminish hate. Because <laughs> I tell you, about some of these folks, Mark, yeah. tell you. thank you so much, it's, Joe. Great, <laughs> great. Mm -hmm. Trying to do in terms of what we need to do in, in the midst of chaos, not only right. you know, in the midst of chaos, we we don't become passive. We still have to remain absurd, assertive. We still have to talk for ourselves and speak up for ourselves and try to right anything wrong. But you can always do things in a positive way. You don't have to get angry. You don't have to destroy things to make to make a right or wrong right. We still just have to do the things that we have to do. Let me ask you, though, is there somebody, mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to get to another call, but I wanted to ask you this. If mm -hmm. there's somebody that's really, uh, you know, just doing a job on you, and, I, and and Joe, I think, was kind of alluding to this sort of thing. We've got some major problems going on, yes. but there are some people who are causing them. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do about that without, without having negative thoughts about it? that person or person the fact that, that they give you you act on it usually hurting yourself more so than anything else there always there's always a solution to any problem and so we have to find a solution so we don't become negative trying to trying to resolve the gotcha. problem gloria from the south side you're going to ask a question that i was going to ask her right ahead gloria are you there Gloria, Gloria, Gloria. Well, I'm not going to waste more time. Well, I thought she was going to say if she'd come on and we're having a problem with the uh, transmission. She wanted your name, address, number. So okay. Forth. Yeah. And the name is Dr. Sheldon Caesar. I have an office on the south side of Chicago, 231 East 75th Street. Telephone number is 773-846-1200. Also, we have a health food store, KMT, and the number there is 773-224-7500. Right, and you mentioned the address. 
two thirty. Just the same address, 231, yeah. 233, 75th Street. Right, right here. Happy about it. Great. Let's go to Donald from the south side. Donald, hi. Hello, Cliff. And hello, Dr. Caesar. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, you know, uh, prior to um, uh, to my father's death, you know, he, he told me that a lot of his ailments were due to the uh, medications that, um, you know, these conventional doctors were prescribing him. And, um, you know, make a long story short, after all that, I chose to uh, undergo... Um, you know, healing myself through through herbs and natural healing. And I just want the city of Chicago to know um, that we have a, a, a gem here uh, through Dr. Sheldon and his, his wealth of knowledge and information. And, brother, I want to want to get on the radio and, and, and publicly thank you, you know, for, for doing what you're doing and, uh, you know, to keep up, keep, keep it up. Okay, That's thanks great. a lot. Donald, thank you so much. Doc, the book. The book is the most powerful book of affirmations ever written. I wrote it two years ago. Mm -hmm. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Kindle. You can also get it in my health food store, KMT. You can call my staff at the 773-224-7500. From there, I'm happy to sign it for you. That's beautiful. Come by the store. Yeah, right. come, by come, the, come by the store. <laughs> we have a sale this weekend, too. Oh, good. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah I was supposed, I'm glad you mentioned that. Thank you. Having end of the year sale. We'd like everyone to come through and sample the waters and see new things we've brought into the store. So that's great. Yeah. I had read that and I forgot to say it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, um, Ray, you got 30 seconds, Ray, from the west side. Go right ahead, please. Hello? Yeah, go right ahead, quickly. Yeah, just very quickly. I just wanted to say, you know, interesting what the other caller called. He says, what can I do what, as a person to make it all better, you know, for my community? And there was a saying that says, all you have to do is do the best you can as a father, as a mother in your household, and your block will be better. All that block has to do is be a great block, and then your community will be better. The community does that, the city will be better. If we just all concentrate on what is good for our family, then if everyone was to do that, imagine, Cliff, imagine if everyone just concentrated on their right. own family, providing, yes. mm -hmm. being a guide. Imagine. Okay. So that's why I always tell people, start with your family. Thank you so start much, your Ray. Family. Happy Kwanzaa to you. Doctor, thank you so much. Okay, sir. thank you. Good, Cliff. appreciate it. I appreciate Great. it. You, you're wonderful. Stay with us. We'll be back.